Hello everybody, I'm Kirk Whalem and I'm so honored to be your host for this incredible worldwide online concert, the phenomenon known as Jazz Mania 2021. When I was a little boy, I wanted to play this instrument and that's because I wanted to be just like my Uncle Peanuts. He was a master. And that is the ethos of the National Jazz Workshop. It's folks like me, little kids, and others who aspire to be like the masters, to be really good at this. And that, by the way, is what the National Jazz Workshop does. Now, I'm blessed to have spent my life so far doing the thing I love, and that's playing music. Tonight, we're celebrating that powerful musical impulse known as jazz. You know, last year, Jazz Mania created such a powerful opportunity to bring jazz artists together from across the globe that we're back again in support of the Nashville Jazz Workshop. Under normal circumstances, we could never bring tonight's stellar group of artists together on a single stage. But one of the positive things over the last 18 months has been the virtual sharing of music, of ideas, and of community. And jazz music has been rewarded with more people learning to play jazz and expand the genre more people interested in jazz, and more people learning about the origins of jazz music. Tonight is a musical thank you to the Nashville Jazz Workshop for the work they do in all these areas. You know, I've been a part of the Nashville Jazz Workshop for many years, and I continue to be amazed at how they've grown and adapted and become a driving force of jazz in Nashville and all around the world. We'll get to more of that story as the program progresses, and we'll give you the opportunity, you better know it, to support the Nashville Jazz Workshop with your donations. But right now, let's get to my favorite part, the music. This artist, or should I say these artists, put their Western swing stamp on the 1931 jazz standard All of Me. Here are the Time Jumpers, featuring one of my favorite singers in the world, Wendy Moten.
I met this next guy about 30 years ago in his prior life as a rock drum god, but he's always been a jazz guy. Welcome to the stage playing Seven Steps to Heaven, Chester Thompson with Chris Walters on piano, Roger Spencer on bass, and Joel Fromm on saxophone.
18 months ago, the Nashville Jazz Workshop had to vacate their offices, classrooms, and the Jazz Cave. Well, that hardship became a beautiful transformation this summer as they opened their new space on Buchanan Street in North Nashville, a vibrant neighborhood with a rich musical tradition. The move enabled the Jazz Workshop to become even more involved in their community. Check this out. Hey, we're at Hadley Park today, and today is the first ever Jazz AM performance by the Nashville Jazz Workshop, which is a family-friendly jazz performance for kids 2 to 10. We thought it would be important for the workshop to come out into the community, introduce ourselves, but give them a chance, especially children, to see live music, live musicians, and to hear about the history of all this music that we play. Yeah, well, the thing about playing for children is, you know, children are honest. So you know if you get them, if they start smiling, tapping their feet and all that, it's genuine. It makes you feel good when you, when you get the chance to play for them, you know, and it's accepted like that. I had great joy in, in the performance, you know, and being able to get out there with the kids and, you know, kind of do somewhat of a second line. to be at the Nashville Jazz Workshop at their new home right here on Buchanan Street today in the heart of North Nashville in the Buchanan Arts District. We're excited to celebrate Juneteenth today. I'm excited to celebrate Juneteenth not only in my district but in my neighborhood. I live two or three blocks right around the corner here. So North Nashville has always been rich with uh, history. We've had Jimi Hendrix, Ray Charles, and just to name a couple, uh, come and play right on Jefferson Street. And it's great to see uh, more music from the Nashville Jazz Workshop as they're here uh, to continue to keep that, that soul alive uh, for music in North Nashville. When I first arrived to Juneteenth Celebration on Buchanan Street today, uh, I stopped and talked with the executive director at Nashville Jazz Workshop and his name's Eric Diltz. And Eric said, hey, we're about to run up here and go to the parade, you gotta come to the parade. And so Brassville came in and they're playing right now. So hopefully we can wrap this up so I can go watch it. The new Jazz Cave on Buchanan Street is bigger, has new technology, and adds an exciting jazz entertainment venue to North Nashville and Music City. So let's get back there now and listen to this next performance uh, by a fellow saxophonist by the name of Javon Qualo. Javon Qualo Quartet actually featuring Ian Miller on piano, Jonathan Wires on bass, and a drummer who plays with a guy named Perk Whalum, uh, Marcus Finney.
you we give you some time to show your support for the Nashville Jazz Workshop. And guess what? Here it is. We're the Time Jumpers and we love the Nashville Jazz Workshop. Hey, this is Chester Thompson. I'm talking to you on behalf of the Nashville Jazz Workshop. Please donate to the Nashville Jazz Workshop. It's a wonderful school, uh, opportunities for a whole lot of people in Nashville. Several artists have done real well with the foundations that they get here. If you like what you've heard, what you've seen, please find it in your heart to donate to the Nashville Jazz Workshop. You know, su support things like this. And we, we, I know I'm speaking to the, to the crowd, preaching to the choir because you're already here. But uh, I want to say that because what they're doing in this town of Nashville, Tennessee, is priceless, well needed, uh, and we got we got to make sure that that uh, that they continue to be able to do this. Uh, hopefully, even long after we are all gone. So thank you, Laurie, for for bringing us together, letting us be here, and please thank Roger and everyone else involved. Prepare to be touched deeply by this music. Trust me. This is an artist and a song I think you're gonna love. This is Donna McElroy, Something to Live For, with my friend Lori Meacham at the piano. I have almost everything a human could desire. Cars and houses, bearskin rugs to place before my fire. But there's something missing, something isn't there. It seems I'm never kissing. Adventurous dream. Oh. Oh, 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 what wouldn't I give for? Make it seem 
We're gonna take you back to the 40s and 50s with this one. I guarantee you're gonna love it. This is Peter and Will Anderson, as well as Randy Napoleon on guitar with Bernie's tune. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Over the last 20 years, the Jazz Cave at the Nashville Jazz Workshop has been home for jazz music performers from across the world. I've been blessed to perform there a few times myself. Let's check out some clips from performances through the years at the Jazz Cave. As time goes by,
with you when you're laughing. I know you're ready to dance. Now's the time. Get up. El Saboy Muy Rico. Check it out. Giovanni Rodriguez. Nostalgia del Danzón.
You're gonna love Tierney Sutton, I promise. And Bruce Foreman on guitar. The song is You and the Night and the Music. Hi guys, I'm Tierney Sutton, and I'm here with Bruce Foreman and uh, Barney Kessel's guitar that's in the custody of Bruce Foreman currently. And we, all three of us, want to celebrate the new Nashville Jazz Workshop. And this is how we're gonna do it. Fill me with flaming desire, setting my being completely on fire. You and the night and the music thrill me, but will we be one after the night and the music are done? Until the pale light of dawning and daylight, our hearts will be throbbing guitars. Morning may come without warning and take away the stars. But if we must live for the moment and love till the moment is through After the night and the music die, will I have you? So if we must live for the moment and love till the moment is through After the night and the music die, will I have you? Will I have you? Will I have you? Oh, what a great, beautiful, nice groove we got going on, right? And I would never interrupt it, except for one reason, and that's to give you the opportunity to support the Nashville Jazz Workshop. Back in a minute with more music. Thank you so much to all the patrons for tuning into this live stream. We really need you to donate and continue to donate in order to continue doing concerts just like this one. This is Kevin Whalem. I am in Memphis, but I wanted to take a second and just say how much I love you guys down there. NJW, man, I taught there for a while. I did a couple of uh, vocal improvisation classes that I loved. I love the people behind this whole organization. I love the idea, and I hope that it just goes beyond the stratosphere. I am so, so, so in love with the Nashville Jazz Workshop. Happy Jazz Mania. God bless you all. I miss you. I'll see you sooner than later. I think organizations such as the Nashville Jazz Workshop are so vital in keeping this music alive and providing education for those who might not be able to get this sort of, of education from jazz masters uh, elsewhere. So I think it's, it's an important part of uh, our continuing education uh, that sometimes is not as obvious as it was or available as it was when I was coming up. So 
uh, please donate for uh, for this uh, uh, Nashville Jazz Workshop Fund and to keep this music alive. This next artist is the perfect example of how young people find their musical path through the Nashville Jazz Workshop. He began when he was in the eighth grade, appeared in last year's Jazz Mania as part of the workshop's Young Artist Ensemble that played before the broadcast. And this year, he's one of the headliners. Please welcome from the Jazz Cave, Tyler Bullock.
I mentioned earlier that the Nashville Jazz Workshop teaches classes. What this means is that players and singers, young and old, are training here to become the next generation of American jazz greats, to continue their lifelong musical passion or stretch their skills. And young people gain a knowledge base of experience passed on from living legends and career musicians. While some of these classes are taught here at home base, many are taught online, with participants from across the world gathering to learn and share jazz music. Nashville Jazz Workshop serves a great service to the community. Teachers that they bring in are guys that have done it, guys that are doing it, you know. Um, so you get that other perspective as opposed to just from a textbook or something, you know. The discipline of learning an instrument, they've proved it over and over with kids. If you can apply that to other things in life, you know, and in learning, that stuff goes with you all your life. You know? I believe that the Nashville Jazz Workshop as an educational organization is extremely important to the Nashville uh, music community because the younger generations like mine or the generation even younger than me, we need them to pass on their knowledge and their experience and their wisdom to us for us to carry on that tradition and also build upon what they have already done. In music, we recognize and celebrate our differences beautiful. We accept everyone's differences and rhythm makes it work. Powerful. We understand that a band is better when all the instruments are different. Well, the thing is, life is the same. If we recognize and celebrate our differences, in music, what brings differences together is called rhythm. In life, it's called respect. That's the power you have. So get really good at it. And now you get to hear a guy I've heard sing since he was born. Uh, okay, he was crying, but I say he was singing. Uh, that's my favorite singer, Kevin Whalum, my brother, featuring my best friend, Gary Gowan, on the guitar. Once lost, now found new life. Solid ground, sick you claim me, hell I know, see I live for you.
Since day one, the Nashville Jazz Workshop has been committed to jazz artists making a good living, and over the last 20 years has compensated artists to the tune of about $2 million, I like that tune, for their teaching skills and performances. One more reason to show your support. Hey everyone, my name is Jovan Quayla. I'm a saxophonist and educator based here in Nashville, Tennessee. First, I want to really thank the National Jazz Workshop for including me as a performer in this year's Jazz Mania. And I hope you guys enjoy and remember to donate to the National Jazz Workshop. Hello, everyone. My name is Giovanni Rodriguez. I'm a composer, musician, and band leader. Thank you for tuning into Jazz Mania. Please continue to give to the National Jazz Workshop so they can continue to provide quality content um, to all of you. And we hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Again, thank you for watching. We appreciate you all. Hi, I'm Peter Anderson, and this is my twin brother, Will Anderson. We had a wonderful time giving that four-minute performance for you all, and we wanted to talk to you about the Nashville Jazz Workshop, which has been a wonderful place for us to perform over the years. We've toured all around the country, and the Nashville Jazz Workshop has really been a highlight for us. So we really encourage you all to, if you can, donate to the Jazz Workshop to help make it uh, keep going and grow. So um, on behalf of my brother Peter and I, we would just want to say a big thank you and a support to the Nashville Jazz Workshop, and we'll see you soon. Everything that comes out, out of the workshop to me is golden, and I'm so proud to be a part of this and to uh, share my talent and my uh, knowledge that I have gained from knowing you through the years with the Nashville community, and God bless you. work. All right. Here with the classic Ahmed Jamal arrangement of Poinciana is the Jeff Hamilton Trio featuring John Hammer on bass and Tamir Hendelman on piano.
two things. One, I can't believe we're at the end of this awesome program. And two, I'm blown away by the talent we've seen tonight. My sincere thanks to all of you who've tuned into Jazz Mania this year. Be sure and spread the word, take a class, go to the Jazz Cave, and change your world. And most importantly, I hope you found the time to support the Nashville Jazz Workshop. Just in case you haven't, you can do it now. I'll play a little generosity music as we wrap it up. Oh, I'm honored to have been with you tonight and offer blessings to all. And a special thank you to the Nashville Jazz Workshop. Good night, everybody.